Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the Laplace transform. So, this is very very important topic in the control system. Generally, in every system represented in the diagram form as well as the equations form also. So, diagram means that means system any system has represents with have some input x of t while we are applying to the to the system then we will get the output is y of t so t in generally it is in the variable in terms of time same that variable in terms of time only okay this in this time any variable consisting of the times is we are getting some differential equations differential equations means uh, for example equation is like this 5 d cube x by dt and 4 d square x by dt like that so in this form we have a differential terms here these differential whenever the equation consisting of these differential terms the solving of these differential terms is very very difficult that's why we are that's why we are using a transform is called laplace transform that is useful for transforming the time variables into frequency variables generally two types of variables are having one is the time variable another one is the frequency variable the frequency is another form that is omega in the this is the angular frequency angular frequency so we can convert this system any type of system for example we have the system is like this the system is x of t in terms of y of t we can convert into the system is the different model that is x of s x of s when we are applying to the system that will become y of s that means this time variable will be converted into the s variables here s is nothing but the j omega s is nothing but j omega j means it is the imaginary part omega is the frequency that is nothing but the angular frequency that means this laplace transform is useful for converting the time variables into the frequency variables frequency variables that means we are converting the time domain into the frequency domain time domain into the frequency domain so how we can convert this time domain into frequency domain we have some formula that formula is like this so directly we have a formula that formula is when we have a some function f of t that will be converted into the f of s like this that is we have a some function we need to convert into the s domain that's why we are applying the laplace transform that means l then this time domain will function will become into the f of s that means frequency domain function so it has some formula that formula is 0 to infinite and the taken function f of t and it is multiplied with some factor e power minus st and the dt yes and the dt so by differentiating the by differentiating the not differentiate by integrating the by integrating the same function and multiply with the some factor with with consisting of the exponential term of the exponential term and this complete term is differentiated with the limits of 0 to infinite then we will get the Laplace transform of this function Laplace transform of this function that means 
we are converting this time domain into the s domain this t domain is become into the s domain okay so the conversion of this function is very very important to solve the equations in the control system okay we will discuss some formulas regarding the laplace transform so generally this laplace is the it's a scientist name actually the scientist who find out this transform is called the laplace transform transforming means transforming domain t domain into the s domain s is nothing but the j omega so whenever j is involving automatically some complications are involved that's why directly we are taking j omega as the s here we we have to discuss some direct conversion of laplace transform of some some terms so those are first term is laplace transform of 1 r u of t 1 r u of t both are same because what is u of t you know the u of t is equal is represents with for the all time variables from 0 to t it is con consisting of the magnitude is only 1 that's why it represents with 1 so when we are applying the laplace transform for this function we will get 1 by s we will get this is the 1 by s so 1 will become in the laplace transform it become 1 by s okay next laplace transform of u of t minus a here what is the meaning of t minus a a portion will be removed time shifting is there whenever the time shifting is available that system we have a factor that is generally laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s you know that but wherever the time shifting is there you have to write like this e power minus s whenever time shifting is available automatically the s s function will be multiplied with some factor that is e power minus as e power minus as yes next thought laplace transform of del of t what is del of t del of t is the impulse function the formula is simply 1 the impulse time domain impulse function will become in s domain 1 same this time domain if you are multiplied with if you are available time shifting then automatically it become so it is 1 and wherever the time shifting is there automatically it is multiplied with the exponential term that is e power minus as e power minus as okay and now look at here this f dash of t what is the meaning of this f dash of t f dash of t is nothing but or r d f of t by d t differentiating the function f of t this is f of t by d t simply yes now whenever differentiation differentiation is there then it become f of f dash of t is nothing but f of t so, so differentiation is there what is this meaning d by dt of f of t wherever the f of t is there it become the f of s and wherever this differential term is there then automatically it become s yes, simply this is very most important formula f dash of t or d by dt of f of t both are same when we are applying the laplace transform for this function then it become f of t become f of s and d by t is become s yes. next so t power whenever whenever we have one formula that is t power n f of t this formula is directly we can write that is this is a direct formula that formula is minus 1 whole power n d power n by f of s by d of s d of s whole power n. reversing this is the reversing if we are reversing then we will get like that next 
Next formula is F power n into t. What is this meaning? This meaning is df by dt. That means n times we are derivating. n times we are we are derivating. Then how it becomes? We have a formula. Whenever one is there, this is one time we are derivating one time. We will get f of s here. One time f of s. If we are derivating n times, then it become s power n f of s minus s power n minus n f of zero. And up to f power n minus one zero. This is the formula. Okay. And sometimes we have a, some formula that is we will use f of zero also here. We will use f of zero also here. Okay. That means whenever we are using the derivative, you have to remove from the s domain function at zero value. That means f of t at zero. And the another formula t into e power a t. So when you are multiplying t is one function. So before that we have here t is here. T is one function. If you are applying the Laplace transform, it will become one by s. So here shifting is exponentially multiplied with e power a t with t. Then it become t is generally one by s is the formula. But here e power a t is added, then it become one by s minus a. One by s minus a. Okay. Next. But t is one by s minus a simply. But here e power a t is one by s minus a general formula. So before that we have write another formula that is. E power e t Laplace transform of e power e t will become one by s minus e. If we are multiplying with t, then Laplace transform of t into e power e t become one by s minus e whole square. Why whole square? Whenever t is there, t value is one by s square generally. T value is this is the one by s square. Okay, don't confuse here. For one, one by s. For t, one by s square. Okay. Wherever e power e t Laplace transform is there, then become one by s minus e. Both together, t into e power e t, both are together. It will become. It will become. For t, it is one by s. For shifting of e power e t, it become one by s minus e whole square. S minus e whole square. Right. Next, Laplace transform of t power n into e power a t. So for this, we are adding n. Then what is the formula? So that formula is simply formula. We can write first. Write the negative uh, denominator. The denominator is here s minus a. Here one factor is there. It will become two. So n factor is there. It will become n plus one. Okay, and one here one factor is there. So that's why you will get n factorial. This is the general formula. This is the general formula. The formula is n factorial by s minus a whole power n plus one. We can use any numerator. We can use any power for t. Then directly you will use this formula. Next, another formula is Laplace transform of e power a t minus b into e power b t by a minus b. Directly, we can write the formula. That formula is this is one. This formula is one of the important formula. That is s by s minus a into s minus b. This is also important formula. And we have some sinusoidal time. Domain signals is there. The first signal we will discuss only two signals. That is Laplace transform of sine a t. 
Laplace transform of sin a t is become direct formula a by s square plus a square s square plus a square next Laplace transform of cos a t is become s by s square plus a square s square plus a square okay these are the small very low time domain signals converted into the s domain signals we have very more number of signals very more number of signals are available that we have to convert into the s domain okay these are the general signals which are useful in solving the control system problems okay i think all of you understand this session thank you